So welcome back to the next example. So in this one, I'm supposed to solve example three, but I'll be solving example four. So if you have been following this video, uh, you should be able to solve example three. So what you are looking at is how to solve quadratic equation using quadratic formula. So if you uh, if you mix the previous part of this video, you'll find the link in the description of this video. So let me go to question number four. So I would love you to attempt to question number three and let me know if you are able to arrive if you arrive at the answer. So just solve it using the quadratic formula, not any other method, just the quadratic formula. So for number four, we have two two p square minus thirty three p plus sixteen is equals to zero. So we are going to be solving finding the value of p using the quadratic formula. So the formula again is x is equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So what we are going to do now is to bring out the value of our a, b, and c. Okay. So the value of our a in this uh, equation is 2. The value of our b is minus 33. The value of our c is 16. Now, if you notice something in the previous example that we have been solving, we are using x, x square, something, x, 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 but right now we are using p. So, what I'm saying is x is that it could be any alphabet. You can have uh, 2, 2 m square minus 3 m plus 16. So, but it's still the same thing. So, since we are using p, so let's just, let's make this p. So, let's make this p. So, we are still arriving at the same answer. So, Let's uh, replace a, b, and c, the value of a, b, and c into the equation. So what we are going to be having is p is equals to minus, so the value of b is minus 33 plus or minus square root of, so the value of b square, that is minus 33 square minus 4, the value of our a is 2, 4 times 2 times the value of our c is 16 over 2a so that's 2 times 16 so 2 times 16 so our p is equals to minus multiplied by minus 3 we're going to have 33 plus or minus square root of so the square root of minus 33 it will give us 1089 minus so 4 times 2 times 16 that is 128 over so sorry this is 2a not 2c so that will be 2 times 2 2 times 2 2 times 2 sorry for that so that is 4 so let's continue so our p is equals to 33 plus or minus square root of, so 1089 minus 128 is 961, so all over 4, so P is equals to 33 plus or minus, so square root of 961 is 31 over 4. So now the next thing we are going to do, let's split it apart, so that's P is equals to 33 plus 31 over 4, then p is also equal to 33 minus 31 over 4. So the difference between these two is the sign. Here we are having minus, here we are having plus. Because right here we are having plus or minus. So what we did there was to split, break it apart. So from there our p, so our p will be equal to, so 33 plus 31, that will give us 64 over 4. So 64 over 4, that means our P here is 16. So for this one, so our P here is 33 minus 31, 2. So 2 over 4. 2 over 4 will give us 1 over 2. So using quadratic uh, formula, we've been able to find the value of P, which is 16 and 1 over 2. So uh, what I want you to do now, is if you've been following this video, I want you to solve this x squared plus 4x plus 3 using the quadratic uh, formula and also solve 8m squared minus 15m minus 2 
And let me also add this to it. This is also a very simple one. X squared plus 4X plus 4 is equal to 0. So I want you to solve these three questions and let me know what your answer is in the comment section below. If you have any issue, any challenge while solving it, do let me know. And I'll see you in the next part of this video where we are going to be solving quadratic equation using completing the square method. So if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to like uh, this video and to share this video with your friends, your colleagues and your, and your classmates. Thank you.